Hello and welcome back. So today we are fighting the dwarves and I just realized I haven't checked my audio profile so just a second because we're having some audio inconsistencies which I'm trying to hammer. Okay, it seems to it seems to have saved now. Basically I made a copy of the existing profile settings that I changed and as a result, oh you know what? If we're only going to lose these troops, I might just start all this. Because to be honest, like, I don't care about the front line. We can replace them. And we're in the minus. Yeah, and for how annoying this is going to be, because the majority of troops are unbreakable. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the unkill kill and just press auto here. Because I shouldn't really have much more of a threat on this front. I know that's not really the funniest way to start a video, but... Uh, a tire of dwarven meddling can look forward to their utter destruction. Okay, so we've we've eased the money situation a little bit. You can't fight them all. Like it's just unbreakable armies. They're a bit um tedious is probably not the right word for it. Irritating. Get you back in there. There isn't another army. We can just level these guys up. We really need to get to this. Yeah, Council the Envoy, that one. But ideally, that's what we're kind of aiming for right now. Uh, well, let's get your what lining maxed out. You guys are still low level. Uh, you don't have cunning. Let's get your cunning. More on bleed defense so we can survive better. The council's voice. Yeah, we got a reasonable amount of trade, so let's get this one. Get moving down this line a little bit. We do have uh, guns and ammo in this army. Like, what is this trade? Yeah, this trade is 3k, so that's actually pretty reasonable. Have we attempted any shenanigans here? Okay, so we've dealt with that army. Oh, how well are you guys uh, actually I'll doing? Your words. We've got seven territories, which is annoying. Uh, Reichland is the one we really need to defeat. Oh, then it's the Lizardmen. That's not good. But uh, Akion and boys are, are uh, coming for the demons help against the dwarves, so that's going to be useful. We have an agreement with you. We have an agreement. Okay. Okay, so, so what happened here? What happened? He seems to have pulled back quite a bit over the end turn, which is slightly disappointing. I'm not going to lie. Especially with our money deficit, we really need to fight in a very awkward way. Uh, so his choices are underwear, or we'll take no attrition, or force march. I mean, the underwear, a lot of times, can be just as fast or faster, because it can get around still. No pits can be wearing, but that's fine. Uh, we can put you on... Mm. I mean, we could put you on that, but there's no real need. It'll always fluctuate up and down. It's not a major issue for something to be concerned about. He was standing out against Chaos, but Chaos seemed to have actually decided to back off now. The problem is he's so far away from where he needs to be, Archeon. Are these guys allied to each other? Perhaps you yeah. Can well, that's not very good because that means if I ever need to fight this guy, it's going to be a nightmare. But Daniel's actually in a more consolidated empire. Archeon might be a bit of a threat, but like his uh, his forces are spread out. Ready, and I think if we look, let's just make sure because I usually screw this up. 
Yes, okay, we've got enough room for 200, okay, um, we want automatically applies level ones, uh, rank, remove mutagen for money, ward save for all units with, mm, that could be good, if we can get the monster stack up to that level. We do have uh, we do have a few, and we have three more in the bank now. So you can go. Right, here are two hundred and maybe keep them for now. The Zells are the more expensive unit. Do you have Giselles? You do. Might be worth swapping out the mutated ones though. No armies in range over here. Like, annoyingly, they've pulled back and everything's been destroyed so much. It's uh, a little bit of a problem for me at the minute. We really need to push into somewhere where we can fight, but we've got such a fractured empire, it's only really over here where we're consolidated. They're fine with us. They're coming to like us. The orcs are fine with us because we're fighting the dwarves. They're fine with us, but they're getting their ass kicked. Everyone seems relatively happy with us, which is extremely sus. Archeon feeling really dead. Archeon's happy. These guys are not happy, but it's improving because Archeon likes us. Okay, so he's got that thing at the... Happy. He's reluctantly becoming happy. What the hell, there's Woodhouse. Woodhouse have invaded the north. Funny. You do a Woodhouse campaign. That would be right for um, Nemesis Crown. So what else? You don't really need to have friends. So, I guess, with all things considered, we can probably just end turn. Uh, the money is going to be all right. The real thing is we need to we need to be able to do something. This army sitting here is just dead weight, and if there's no enemy armies nearby, that's even worse. So we need to be able to strike this empire capital. So we're going to hop down here. Okay, he's got two armies, so that's fine. One of them's complete trash, that's also good. It's, uh, it's not the best army with that, my legendary lord. You. We're doing you, moving you first, because we need vision. Hey ho, better late than never. There's just three armies there. Okay, we really need to. Uh, no, what's going on more than anything else? I think we're okay on this front. These guys seem, seem real chill that I'm not really advancing. We've got vision there, so yeah, you can just stay there. We can skip the hero movements, I think. Building upgrades available. Mm, I don't think we can really justify that well. We've got financial issues, so let's move on. How do you guys feel about fighting? Unbreakable armies, because and that, they just seem a little bit excessive. And that's on that because we were doing the sneaky play test for the sneaky, sneaky thing we're gonna do. But that's a surprise, chaps. That's a surprise. Like it seems to be stabilizing, but then again, it always seems to be not right when it's his turn, and then it's a pummeling when it's the AI's turn. So you're gonna come up with me? Is what? <laughs> Is he going for the orcs? Oh, there's an army there. I didn't know it was there. Oh no. Hopefully, he can't reach. That's a problem. Depending on what's in that army, these empire armies are like rats. They're everywhere. He's pulling back to him. That's all right. He's going to ambush stance. Sneaky. 
<laughs> okay, we gotta remember that. War host of the apocalypse. I believe that was their legendary hero for the Empire, which is just wounded. That's good. What else beating on Ikit again? Not good. Now, like, fortunately for me, like, I'm not at war with these guys, so, uh... If I manage to confederate him probably just sell all these territories to the Empire. Or Britannia, or whoever's closest to be honest with me. He's running away. But at least uh, the Troll King killed an army. Okay, so his options are some money. Or we lose six loyalty, which will still put us for four. You know, given the current situation, I think we just need the money. Is he auto respawn? He respawned at Kizad. Interesting. Is he in rebellion? Um. Okay. back in the city, so you're 15 strong, you're 16 strong, that's fine. Okay, he's leveled up, so let's max out his arms dealer for that extra tiny bit of cash, it all adds up. 3k, which is pretty solid for trade, to be honest with you. Alright, so they're crushing through there. Um, yes, can we reach you? We can, just. Your ambush has failed, which is very fortunate, because that was going to be a massive pain in the ass. Uh, so the question becomes, which army is scarier? Probably this one. So we'll hit that second, if at all. Okay, we can reach that, we've got 5% movement left. You will get reinforcements, but there's not really much we can do about that. Right, so here we go then. We're gonna have a rough, a rough fight versus these guys. Oh, he's got a lot. He's what does he? Siege deck again. Uh, is that it? What's special about these though? Because they're red. Oh, no friendly fire. Okay. Well, that'll be uh, slightly annoying. But we can set up pretty far back and then just run in with the monsters. We got a choke point. Oh, nice. It's a different... I've not seen a different map in so, so long. So this is going to be real nice. We're definitely finding this one. So thank you very much for watching, if you are still watching. And I'll see you in the next one for what looks like a choke point battle.